Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you a new functionality in Meshma 4 which allows us to create more snapshots for, from morph targets but with the orientation updated, right? So uh, let me show you uh, how uh, to get started. If uh, we select our morph target here and we go to bone snapshot, we will see that we have a new option here, which is orient bones. And uh, we also have uh, an option here and orient bone. Uh, if we put a bone name here, the orientation uh, will stop uh, when uh, we hit that bone, right? We won't uh, put any bone, but uh, for example, if uh, you do a full body uh, uh, with a head as well, and you don't want to have the orientation recomputed for the face, for the head bones, you can enter here head bone, right? So uh, we won't uh, uh, put here anything. We will only do the body in this video because uh, the body is uh, problematic. Uh, with orient bones, so we are one step closer to fix those uh, uh, lower arm deformation in a control rig uh, when uh, we're using uh, our metahuman in sequencer with uh, uh, the body control rig. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get started. Let's save this bone snapshot and let's load it. And now that we load it, let's update quickly our uh, morph target here. And uh, let's just bake it, right? So we can quickly see our problem and the, the solution as well. So now that uh, we baked, uh, let's uh, go to uh, our level sequence. Let's add our actor. As we, uh, we can see, we don't have any elbow uh, problem here, but, but when we add our actor, we do uh, have some problems, right? Uh, we have this uh, lower arm deformation here. So let's get back to Mesh Morpher quickly. And uh, let's uh, select uh, use symmetric bones because we want to do changes on one side and apply the changes to the other side. And uh, the most important thing is the select update children. We won't update any uh, bone uh, ch uh, children, right? So let's, uh, let's uh, select our uh, bones here. Let's go with lower arm. Uh, the reason we're getting that deformation is because of this angle here. So let's set Y and Z to zero. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, put back the corrective root to its place because we moved its parent. So let's uh, put here zero, zero, zero. And uh, you can also put back uh, this uh, bone here, this uh, uh, parent for the upper arm twist. Let's quickly put it back, right? Just place it. This is without updating children. As you can see, uh, the children uh, preserve uh, their place. Uh, we're not moving them at all, right? So uh, let's uh, let's continue. Uh, it's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can uh, go ahead and invest more time in it there. And uh, now let's uh, bake our changes, right? So let's bake skeleton and press OK. Now that we bake the setting, uh, the changes. Let's uh, see again uh, in. Uh, our level sequence and we will see that uh, our uh, our elbow and the lower arm uh, setup it's uh, working uh, fine right it, it doesn't it's not deformed uh, anymore so uh, this is it uh, uh, for this video you can also if you have problems uh, you can also do the same for the uh, legs right uh, the bones you have to take care are thigh calf and uh, foot, right? This is the bone chain uh, you have uh, to handle, these three bones. Uh, you would do the same as for the lower arm. So uh, for, the yeah, for the lower arm. So this is it for this video, guys. And uh, I hope you like uh, these new changes and uh, see you around. Bye.